<laughs> Yay! Yay! Guess what, Brad? Brad's getting married! Woo! <laughs> Can't wait! Woo! Oh, you look magnificent! <laughs> you look great! Okay! Right. Oh, I had so much fun today! Oh, Dad. All right. I love you so much. Yeah. I'm gonna get okay. a Kleenex off. <laughs> No. <laughs> I love you. I love you. First time I see the yeah. dress. Yeah, you you look magnificent. Thank you. Yeah. You feel good? You feel good. Yeah, yeah. feel great. That's I'm awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Our wedding day is finally here. I am so excited to marry you in just a few short hours. I can't wait to call you my husband and start to build our life together as a married couple. There is no one else I would rather do this with. You are my best friend, confidant, and partner for life. Life with you is so much fun. We have so much in, con in common. It honestly amazes me sometimes how similar we are. At the same time, our personalities differ in many ways. Your calming presence truly complements my not so calming presence, but this makes us perfect for each other. You are truly my favorite person and just hanging out with you, even if we aren't even doing anything, makes me so happy. The last six years together has been packed full of adventures and surprises, but this, this year has definitely been our wildest year yet. The highlights are purchasing our first house together and of course today, getting married and all of the fun wedding festivities leading up to this point. Your bachelor party, my bachelorette party, and our wedding showers. We also experienced great loss this year. The unexpected passing of Maddie two months ago was absolutely devastating. It was the hardest thing we've had to deal with as a couple up to this point. It was awful, but it made us stronger and reassured me that we can get through anything together. I love you so, so much. Let's soak in every moment of this amazing day because I know it's going to fly by. I can't wait to see you here soon. Love you to the moon and back, Brianna, your almost wife. Awesome. So best man Shane, uh, college best friends, uh, went, were college roommates for two years. Two years. Two years, best friends. Moved all the way to LA, still connect almost once a month. It's a fair thing yeah, for us guys. We connect. So once a month. See and, each other uh, once a year. And happy he's here. I'm gonna just step to the right, make it easy on us. Ben Manning, best friend from <laughs> Lexington. Uh, as he liked to say in the speech last night. Yep. Degenerate, just like me. Love the football games, love the betting. Where's the quarter? It's okay. Um, but once again, happy everyone's here. I'm gonna repeat that every single time. Hey Blair. What's up, T-Walk? Thanks for having me, bro. Probably one of the tallest friends I know. I have to just stare up at him the whole time, but... Uh, I like looking at you. Appreciate it. Great friend from here in Cincinnati and Lexington. Um, bummed he's moving out to Phoenix, but we're gonna get by with it and come, to come, come, come to the waste come management. Yeah. Come to the waste management. Yeah. Cool. JR, uh, my sister's husband. I was lucky enough to marry them just last year and uh, brought me my first niece and the second niece on the way. So super excited and uh, happy to, I guess not have him part of my family. We, we've been family members for a year now. Yep, so. Love you. Love you too. Chris Farrell, three times straight golf partner, yep. champs. <laughs> Just last week. Yep. Just last yep. week. Can't, Put the ring, can't baby. It. Put the ring Let's back go. on. Best friend right here in Cincinnati. Um, Bengals games, yep. FCC, FCC games. games. Yeah. Great Any times. game. Any game. Oktoberfest, you name it, we're there. We're there. Love, Love you, bro. You. Love you. I'll come to you last. <laughs> Brian. Brianna's father, super pumped to be joining the family. I'm happy he's allowing me to join his family oh. and marry Brianna. It's been a long story coming, but. Right, so happy to have you. Thank you so yeah, much. You're welcome. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then here's the one and only. 
my father. <laughs> um, there's not enough to say about it. I mean, he's my dad, as you said, best friend. Make this day happen, made last night happen. Thank you so much. I love you, son. Love you too. Ooh, so proud. So Blair, Colin and I have been working on a special drink for you. Uh, this drink has been developed all the way around the world. It started off in Lexington at Bourbon Country. We taste tested. Then we worked on it in Italy, Dubai, Tokyo, and now back to Cincinnati. The drink is built for you as a lover of Manhattans. We washed the internal glass with absinthe, created a special mix for the Manhattan using the bullet rye that you love. And in the process, smoked it so that you get that whole beautiful flavor all the way to the bottom of the glass. I love you. I think this is the greatest moment of our lives together. Enjoy. take it to your mouth. Blair, would you All like right. to say something? Guys, thank you so much for being here. Like, I, this is incredible to spend this day, this moment, everything with you guys. Wouldn't ask for anything more. Everyone in this room, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's make a day out of it. Slancha. Cheers. Cheers. So what's next? Brianna, when I sat down to start writing this letter, I did not know what direction I wanted to go. Humor, relive our story and how excited I am for the future, prelude to our vows. But really, once I thought about it, there was only one way to do this, and speak to the love language that you're always asking of me, as there is not a better time than right here, right now, to speak words of affirmation to my soon-to-be wife, and probably hit on some of the other items, I am sure. Let me start by saying the obvious. I love you so, so much. The amount you do for not only our life, but even just my life is absolutely incredible. You personally have made me a better man by not wanting to let you down with everything that you do. From the small things of making sure the house vendors make everything perfect and what we want for the house, to big things like attending a celebration thrown for me just two days before our wedding, even though there was still so much to do and you may be slightly freaking out. Nothing ever goes unnoticed. Even though it, I may not always say it, what you do makes me so happy and so excited to have you in the corner of the rest of my life. Our lives have been connected and destined to be together since we were born. Born just a few days apart at the same hospital, to being best friends at a young, young age, to randomly connecting at a random concert at Riverbend, to inevitably matching on a freaking webbing, web, online dating website. If our whole journey does not scream meant to be, I really, really do not know what does. The start of our relationship may have been moving very fast compared to the speed you wanted to go. But just like I said back then, I just want to tell you how I feel and so happy you took your time to make yourself feel the same and not rush anything. I am sure we will hear jokes this weekend about how long it took you 
for you to turn the corner to me. But damn it, the best thing is that they are now just jokes as we have made it to the ultimate destination. Brianna, I am so excited to see you walk down that aisle in, here in just a few short hours. You're going to be the most beautiful looking bride that anyone has ever seen, and I just can't believe that you will be walking to me. I am so ready to start the rest of our lives together to call you my wife and make so many more memories with you no matter what is in store for us. We started this life six days apart in virtually the same location, and now we get to ride it out the rest of our lives together forever. I love you so much, soon to be wife. I will see you very, very soon when we say I do to forever together. So this is my best friend, Kathleen. We went to Ursuline together. Then we went to college together at Ohio State. Go Bucks! Woohoo! And then we both ended up moving to Washington, D.C. after college, and we were roommates in D.C. too. That's right, yep. We have been roommates for, like, I think six or seven, seven or eight years. Yeah. And I think I've just crossed the point where I've been roommate longer with my husband now than I was with Brianna. <laughs> yes! So, yeah. I love it. Love Cheers. you. Oh, this is my best friend Stacy. Stacy and I met in Washington, D.C. in 2013. We both worked for Stryker together, both our first jobs right out of yeah. college. And we both moved to different cities after D.C., but we've stayed in touch this whole time. And yeah, I love you so much. And Bree and I, we love to laugh and lounge together. That's and our motto, laugh and lounge. We used to work in the hospital at the 6 a.m. shift, and we would always get coffee and call each other and meet and down and get coffee and just chat and laugh, and we always got extra whipped cream. Extra whipped cream on because our coffee. Because that's just Brianna. She's extra. <laughs> love you. Love you. <laughs> This is Caroline, this is Blair's sister and my almost sister-in-law here in a second. And I've actually known Caroline since Caroline was basically born um, because Blair and I are, you know, friends from preschool. So I've known Caroline forever. Um, and then we reconnected when Blair and I reconnected in 2018. And I'm so excited to be a part of your family now. And I just, I love you and your cute little fam so much. <laughs> I am so happy that Brianna, even though you're taking the Kisker last name, I'm a little jealous, but I can't think of anyone better to marry my brother. Aww. And I'll cry a little bit. I love and to you so have much. kids and to be able to grow up together. Aww, so, I love, love you so much. You. You're all right, the best. that's all I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh, my cheeks already hurt. Oh, this is my best friend, Katie Collier. KC is her nickname. And KC and I met in 2018, I think it was. Um, we both joined Junior League and we fortunately were placed in the same small group and we just became really good friends through our small group. And we've, you know, just been really good friends ever since really and just gotten yep. closer over the years since. Yep. Love you. I love you. <laughs> This is my best friend, Carly, AKA Minnie. Um, Minnie and I have known each other since eighth grade, back in like 2008. That was when um, we graduated high school. <laughs> so 2000, sorry, 2004, 2004. Eighth grade was 2004, yeah. And uh, we met through softball. I ended up trying out for her uh, dad's softball team at the time and- Didn't think I'd be friends with her then. She didn't think I'd be, she'd be <laughs> friends with me, but here we are all these years later. We've been through so much together. You're one of my longest. When she was wearing her back brace. <laughs> yeah, she's known me since I was wearing my scoliosis back brace. But uh, you're one of my longest friends and I just love you yeah, and all of our adventures you. we've had all over the years, so. Love yeah. you. Love you. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, Hi. This is my best friend, Erin. Erin is an Earthline gal. We've known each other since like 2004, 2005, um, yeah. when our friend group formed back in high school. And uh, we've had so many memories together over the years. Um, high school was just bonkers together. Yep. And yep. we just did the silliest uh, high school things together. And Yeah, and silly and stupid. Silly and stupid. And you've just been a special part of my life since high school. And I love you. I love you too. Really great high school stories. The Goody. best high Goody school stories. All my funny stories are with Brianna. So I love, love you. you. <laughs> 
This is my girl and best friend, Katie Fisher. Um, Katie Fisher and I also met through Junior League in 2018 and we're also placed in the same small group, thank goodness, because we became such good friends through Junior League and have just built such a good friendship outside of Junior League. Um, neither of us are even in Junior League anymore <laughs> and here we are um, just as best friends and I love you and we don't live in the same city anymore, but nothing's changed. I know. Whether it's dinner in Paris or dinner at the kitchen table, yes. I love all of our memories. I love together. our memories. Love you. This is my youngest sister, best friend, and maid of honor. Brennan. Brennan is five years younger than me, so I've known you most of my life, well, all of my life, most, I don't know what I'm saying, um, but I love you so much. You are an absolute blessing um, to our family and to me, and you are just, you are such a special person, and um, I'm so happy that you're a part of my day and just a part of my life, and I love you so much, baby. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say anything? No. Okay. Thank you. Sister Blake and best friend and also another maid of honor and um, Blake is two years younger than me and we were so close growing up um, we always played together and really did everything together we definitely had our ups and downs we fought a lot I beat her up a little bit um, but we are the best of friends now and um, I love you so much and you've been such an amazing maid of honor throughout this process and oh, I do anything for you I love you I'm so I'm so glad I get to be next to you on this day. I love you. I love you, I love you so much. Brianna, or Brie Baby Eve, as Insta likes to call it. <laughs> Today I cannot be more excited to call you my wife. I promise to love you to the moon and back from now until our forevers. I promise to accept the bad times just as much as the great times we have together. And I know we will have way more great times than bad times. Today is the easiest day of the rest of my life because I know it's gonna, how it's going to end. I know it's going to end with a yes. Everyone's been walking around asking me, how are you doing? Are you doing OK? And you know what? I already knew the answer. The answer is, yeah, I'm doing great. I'm not nervous. And that's because I already know what the outcome's going to be. When I know the outcome, I'm comfortable. And I can't be more comfortable right now in front of all of our friends and family knowing what this outcome's going to be. I promise that I will continue to let you lead me to being the best version of myself every single day. I am so excited for what life has in share for us. I know it's going to be an amazing journey because as you just heard, it's been one hell of a ride already. I love you so much. I can't wait to get the party of life started with you because I know no matter what you are doing, who you are with, you are going to bring a smile to everyone's faces as the life of the party. I love you so much. Blair, I'm so excited that this day has finally arrived. I love you so much and I cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together. I love our love story. Never in a million years did I think I would marry my preschool best friend. I vividly remember our play dates specifically playing house with you with your Cabbage Patch doll. <laughs> <laughs> and you becoming my very first best friend 30 years ago. 
Reconnecting with you in 2018 turned out to be one of the best things that ever happened to me. Even though at the beginning I wanted to keep our relationship casual for an extended period of time, <laughs> way longer than I probably should have, you never faltered and you stuck by my side. You are the kindest, most loyal, and hardest working person that I know. You are the calm to my storm, <laughs> and you are truly the best partner I could have ever wished for. You were my best friend 30 years ago, and you are my best friend now. I feel like the luckiest girl on the planet. I love the life we have built together up to this point, and I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for us. I know it will be so full of many adventures, and we will have so much fun together. I'm so excited to call you my husband. I love you so much, Blair. By the authority vested in me by Amer American Marriage Ministries <laughs> dot org <laughs> and by the state of Ohio. <laughs> I now declare you husband and wife. How about a big old smooch here? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with the greatest pleasure that I present to you for the first time, Mrs. and Mr. Brianna and Blair Kisker. <laughs> Myself, it is our honor, pleasure, and privilege to welcome each and every one of you here tonight to celebrate Brianna and Blair. The, the reach that these folks have is unbelievable. As I look around the room, I see as far, it's global the reach. Germany is in the house. New Hampshire, New York City, Virginia, D.C. I, I see Florida, I see Texas, Alabama is in the house, right? Okay, Wisconsin. Now, Hawaii, as far as Hawaii is here today, it's unbelievable. And we appreciate all of your efforts. California, I now see. It's Arizona, I see, it's unbelievable. And it's all based on our love for you two. I think what defines Blair and I's friendship was we really pushed each other. You know, we, we had moments where I didn't know what I wanted to do with my career. And I was like, I like the music industry. And Blair's like, you should do that. Pursue that. Blair looked at me and was like, I want to get into sports. And I was like, you should do that. Pursue that. And we pushed each other. We guided, guided each other. We were there for each other. And we've been doing that ever since. And we've been through great parties and awesome things. But at the same time, we have continued through our life and our adulthood to be there. There has been amazing moments. There have been tragedies.
tragic moments that we've gone through. And that defines us, and that's what makes our friendship and, you know, just very special. To see this day come, you cannot find, well maybe, I'm sure people will argue, you're not gonna find anyone that's happier than I am right now. And I love you, Doug, Lori, and Lori, they're my, they my family, Blair is my family, and you are my family. I love you, both. So we, it means I've been a best friend, built-in, built-in best friend for Brianna since day one. And our friendship and sisterhood has taken on many forms throughout life and it has been a wild ride. I'm sure some of you know what that has looked like for us. However, this story isn't about my built-in bestie from day one. This is about how Brianna and Blair met in 1993 and had a childhood friendship that spanned the years of preschool and kindergarten. And during that time, as you heard from Bill earlier, they had a deep friendship that spanned birthday parties, time together, play dates, pumpkin patches. Their friendship faded when Blair moved away, and Brianna was shocked to see his grown up self on a dating app over five years ago. A quick message asking him if he was back in Cincinnati led to a long, beautiful reconnection of friendship that blossomed into so much more. This is about how Blair grew to absolutely be part of the Eve family. This is about her partner in crime, who we love just as much as she does. Welcome officially to the Eve family, Blair. We're so lucky to have you as Bri Brianna's forever built-in bestie. Aww. Cheers to Brianna and Blair, built-in bestie. Why did the bride change her last name? Because she married me. Because he has a nice ring to it. <laughs> uh, when Blair was little, he had a good nice story that he said always needed to include his best friend Brianna. That's not a good nice story. It is a forever love story. Now I have an older brother in in my life. Welcome to the family, Perry. Now I have my Harry Potter buddy forever. <laughs> but also my older sister's not a Harry Potter. When Brianna and Blair were in kindergarten, Blair gave Brianna a sand dollar Christmas ornament that he and probably his mother Lori made. It had her name and the year 1995 written on it in green glitter. I held on to that. And today I'd like to formally present that ornament to Brianna and Blair Kisker so that they can hang it on their first Christmas tree as husband and wife. Welcome to the family, Blair. I love you both very much. Here is the sand dollar. It says Brianna from Blair, 1995 on the back. And I believe I was told Blair picked this up on family vacation in South Carolina and made it for me all those years ago. But real quick, we just wanted to stand up here and say thank you guys so much for being here. I know so many of you traveled from all over, all over the world actually. Um, we are so, so blessed. Um, I'm so happy and I, I just love all of you guys so much and we are, we are so lucky to have all of you in our lives. So what I'm left with is just from the heart to talk about how great this reunion and bond and the beginning of family is here today. A family that we love just dearly. So Brianna comes to me and says, Dad, I think I've fallen in love with the best man in the world. I said, okay, great, tell me about it. <laughs> she goes, well, he went to Ohio Wesleyan. I said, Ohio Wesleyan? She said, yeah, and he's on the board of directors there. And I was like, oh. She goes, 
then he went to the University of Kentucky. I said, UK? Uh, yeah. And she goes, yeah. And he got his MBA in finance there. And I go, oh. <laughs> and she goes, well, he lives in Northern Kentucky. I said, Northern Kentucky? She goes, yeah, but he owns a house in Fort Thomas. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then she goes, he works for FCC. I said, what does he do at FCC? And she goes, oh, he's the vice president of finance. And I was like, oh, that's terrific. <laughs> I said, Brianna, what have you been waiting for in so long? Marry this man. <laughs> oh. So, anyway, Brianna, who today is my favorite daughter. Yeah. By the way, doesn't she look absolutely stunning? Yeah. Everyone here should know that I have uh, more than anything, love and a special bond for my daughter, Brianna. Your list of accomplishments in life are long and quite involved, but clearly your very best accomplishment was falling in love with Blair. Yeah. Early in college, she called me one day and said, Dad, I declared my major. I said, what? She said, human ecology. I said, what? What kind of degree is that? She said, I want to sell medical devices, and that's the preferred major for that field. I said, I had never heard of that in my entire life. She said, well, her sophomore summer, she got an internship with a spine company out in California. And the first day on the job, she sent me the bio for the vice president of sales, who had a degree in human ecology. And I never said another word about her major from that moment forward. So, she completed her de degree in human ecology and packed up her car and left, knowing no one for a Nova Hospital in Washington, D.C. Uh, area, working in the endoscopy, in, endoscopy division of Stryker. She spent five years in D.C. in cardiovascular surgeries, and then an opportunity to move back to Cincinnati in the sports med division and w which is where she's been in the last six years. And just this month, news to most in here, she was asked to transition to the total joint division where she will work with total knee and hip replacements. So, when they get back from their honeymoon. 11-year career with Stryker so far, helping patients in well over 5,000 cases, ranging from cardiovascular surgery the shoulder, hip, knee repairs. Very rewarding and very proud of you and very impactful. Then, once back home, she started and became a peer leader for an adult social club for individuals born with Down syndrome where she coordinates monthly activities. Very rewarding, very proud, and very impactful. I'm so proud of the person that you've become. Impacting lives and everything you do. So as the two of you bond today, the first day as a family, here are a few of my wishes for the two of you. Love, the last, the best thing to hold on to in life is each other. Commitment, stand together in your relationship where both of you flourish, finding fulfillment while freely express, expressing your individuality. Future. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. To be happy, do not dwell in the past, 
Do not worry about the future. Focus on living fully in the present. And family. As the legendary coach John Wooden said, the most important thing in the world is family and love. Let's raise our glasses and toast Brianna and Blair as they begin their family together. Cheers. Blair was one hell of an athlete. He was a very good soccer player over at St. Henry's over in Northern Kentucky. You never liked soccer until Blair. And I never liked soccer until he convinced me that it was a good sport. Good That's kid. it. Right, he was a good kid. Really a good, he kid. Is a good kid. Even if he didn't go to Ohio State, he was still a good kid. <laughs> when they were little, we didn't really know Brianna. Just heard about her. <coughs> Blair we, didn't bring her around much when he was five years old. <laughs> <laughs> but we love her. She's, yes. She's got a smile that outstanding. This message is for my lovely first granddaughter and I want to congratulate her on her wedding day. She's a wonderful, wonderful granddaughter. Thank you. Grandma and Grandpa are very happy with your choice of a husband and I wish you all the happiness in the world. We love you to the moon and back. So Rising somewhere in your eyes Yes, this is real My rain will wash your hands Your fire came to heal You are dance, the life we'll share The life we came from, sure I'm shivering, sure I'm scared But I'm all yours So please Let's go!